Uh, hi, this is Pajuf here, and um, this is um, day two here in the Gambia, and we're busy here working on a contribution project, and I'm here with um, a dear friend and somebody who is very prominent in the education community here in the Gambia. He's the director of the West Coast region. His name is Mr. Suare, and he's taking us around to a few schools that need some support, some some basic help in terms of um, helping these kids get the right education with facilities, with infrastructure, um, some communities need a school. So we're so excited because we want to go into some of these communities and help them build schools. And so we'll be giving you some more details about it as we go along and showing you some of the things that we'll be seeing too. So you're seeing it's live as we're seeing it there too. Um, but it's such an honor to be here back in my home country and just doing our best to, to help the community as well. And later on you'll hear from Mr. Suarez who will tell us a little bit more about um, his, what he's doing here in his region. Um, in the Gambia we have six regions, so the school region and each has a director who heads it up. And yeah, the education system, it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger and we're having um, Mr. Suarez was just even telling me right now, last year we had a thousand doctors graduated at our university here in the Gambia, which is a big achievement. I can tell you when I was growing up here, um, there was no university at that time. So, you know, only a few had the opportunity to leave the country to go somewhere else to get, get a university education. And I, I consider myself to be one of the fortunate ones at the time. And it's nice to come back and see our country developing and people like Mr. Suare and his colleagues are really um, setting the standard for what education needs to be. And, you know, we have a lot of talent here in Gambia. So as always, we'd love to have you around here. All right, bye for now and we'll speak later. So, Mr. Suare, tell us a little bit again, probably it'd be good for you just to introduce yourself, your title and your name again, what you do, but also, well, I am, and tell us a bit about the projects yeah, that you're I looking am, to. I am Mr. Abu Bakar Suare, I mean, who have been in education since I left school, right? I, I started as an unqualified teacher, we call untrained teacher, in 1975. Right, from there, I... That's the year I was born. Yeah, yes, from there I decided to take teaching as my profession. The only way I could do is to go to college to be trained as a teacher. And I went to Unum College, then Unum College, now it's Gambia College. Mm. Went to Unum College for three years, qualified as a PDC. Uh, from there, I went to do my ATC program, higher teacher certificate. Uh, from there, I came back to the system. I teach for many years. And from there, I, I headed schools also, as, as head of schools. Uh, and then from there, I started with the administration as an education officer uh, in Region 3 and then from there as a senior education officer I went back to UK for my master's program. So when I came back I went to Basse as education officer from there I came to uh, Mansa Congo. I have served all the regions wow. in this country all right everywhere and uh, now promoted to a regional director the decentralization now we have the centralized activities of education and the management of education at the local level at the regional level. Mm -hmm. So I am now here as the regional director who is responsible for the and guide. So where are we now? What are we? Right where? now we are in the special needs school. Special needs. We are the deaf school. Well, unfortunately, I, I was told by the head that uh, because <coughs> yesterday was a was a holiday, so they feel like today they cannot come to school. They observe oh. here as their ascension day, and then they are not in school. But the head is here. Okay. And the, Deputy or there. Sure, so you can more. see the facilities, you yeah. can talk to the head, we'll give you an information about Fantastic, school, right? fantastic. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much, Mr. Right. Swire. Right. So just a quick introduction here. So we're here at the School for the Deaf and here with the um, director of the region here, Mr. Swire, and here with the headmaster of this the School of the Deaf here. Um, I'd like him to introduce himself. Just to see, we're going to interpret here. Hello. Hi, I'm Karamo Sanyang. His name is Mr. Karamo Sanyang. I am the head teacher of this school. We opened this school in 2000. So we write to the government that is become an area council. It was one room. 
from there we proceed to rent a house at Pricama Newtown for one okay, year. Okay, all right. Later we find this land and we put this one. We have all of our friends from Holland, they, they buy the land and they build this one for us. The reason why we built this you know, school for the deaf is the people in the Kama region have access to go to school. So we happen to build this school. Yeah, because we have only one deaf school in Gambia, that is in Kaniki. So we decided to build another school in the Kama. Since we have opened this in 2006, up to date, we have transferred up to 120 students to Kanifa. Wow. Most of their parents are poor, they cannot afford the cost of transport. So, for them to come to school is a difficult thing for them. Yes, that is why we are seeking the support of the director to encourage them. Yes. The director used to advise him to have a lot of encouragement. He always visit the school. Any problem we have, we explain to the director. Some of the special need officers visited the school. We have staffs here. And also we have three teachers, one interpreter. Watchman, cook, cleaner. But most of them stop working here now. Since December, up to now. And it like stopped because stop because lack of resources, lack of finance, lack of finance. Yeah. They have no salary. <laughs> <coughs> in the Gambia, when you employ a person, you have to pay every and of money. Like social security, salary, and income tax. Mm -hmm. So we don't have fund for that. Mm -hmm. So part of why we're here, um, part of why we're here is also, um, we, we represent an organization called the Wealth Institute in, the, in, in Europe and we teach people over there in terms of financial education, <coughs> how to better your life and um, you know how to become a bigger person in a way and the best way to become a bigger person is giving back. <laughs> um, and obviously you know Europe is different from Africa but we're all people of course but in many ways you know there's more extra resources over here that we can help over here and there's something that we can get from here which is as I was saying to Mr. Suare is um, how people wake up every morning not having a lot but still have a great smile and grateful for what they have and part of me being here as a Gambian too also because you know I grew up in Banjul I did my whole schooling here and um, you know I have the opportunity to come back and bring a team of people we have a team of 30 40 people who are with us for the next week I'm learning about our culture and the main thing I want them to get out of here is um, is also that we're a country that is very rich in spirit and also but there's some basic needs that we need and I like you to also go back and share them what a beautiful country that we have and also ask for them to support us with some of the many things that we have over there so um, so what I'd like to know from you too is some of the basic things that you'll need what that would look like we'll go around look around the school and give us a tour and and we'll go back and do our best to come back and support so so just want to say thank you for having us here really to be honest with you. Well. thank you very much yes. Yes. Right. Good. Yes. so let's let's, let's yeah. go around school. It looks like it hasn't been used yeah, for a while. Yeah, food there. It looks like it hasn't been used for a while. Um, yeah. And food is a basic need, yes. especially for kids it's learning. Needs, yeah. yeah, for basic need. I see the attire there. <laughs> That's for you, huh? That's for you. <laughs> it's a traditional, we normally have that huh? um, attire. See that little kettle there. It's a little drink that we normally have. <laughs>
Come over here. Computer have me do my administrative work. Sometimes I type letters. For example, when I want to communicate with other people, I use the internet to communicate. But the computer is still working. Yeah. So, and that's the that's the only computer you guys have here. Is that the only one computer that you guys have? Yes, only yes. one. Yes, yeah, this is the only computer we are having. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also we have a printer, but the printer also is not working. Yeah. That's yeah, 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 definitely. So, as you can see here, um, um, again, we have our many laptops lying about. We, every year we're buying the new Mac, <laughs> the upgraded new Mac. And for those of you who have things lying about, you know, we have community here that's needed. Let's, let's share it, let's give it, and we'll do that. And definitely we'll do our best um, to help and ship those sort of stuff because these are basic stuff right now. If computers and laptops are basic stuff. You can look at this computer here. You know, it's it's uh, it's an IBM and a Dell. Um, come on, we have this lying around there. <laughs> We're putting our food on it to eat. So, and we don't know that the people over here just need some of these basic things, and your help is really really needed. So, we'll like again. I said we'll do our best. Is that you? Do you play football there, or is that the kids? We have a sport team for the deaf, sporting for children the and adults. But we don't have teams like Jesus and footballs. Yes, most of the deaf they understand. Yes, last year they have they happened to have a competition between the Gambia and Sierra Leone at the Kano Ministerial. Uh, yes, you are yeah. dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> three dots. Yes, they have three goals to zero. Yes, because we need somebody to train them and yeah. to have some football materials like gears and other things. Okay. And, the, and the kids, and how old are the kids again? What's, what's the different age group to the kids? Sorry, sorry. Yes, four years. Four years. So four years, four is the youngest and the oldest is up to... 12, wow, 13. 12, 13, 12, 13. Because, yeah, because they have a skill center here also, I know so. Huh? Yeah, they have a skill center, those are the... 11, 12. 11, 12. Yeah, mm -hmm. because next class. Yeah. It's all your best students. It was the, 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 yeah. the, the routine yeah. to be able to do something. Yeah, yeah. So in this, in this area really here, really, this is really one of, two, one of two deaf schools that you have in this area really, more or less. Yeah. Is that right? And we have the main one is in Bangu. The main one is in Bangu. So this is the only one within here. Mm -hmm. And then us, us, I mean, when they graduate from the nursery, yeah. at the time they send them to Bangu. And then uh, they will be too young to travel here. And sometimes yes. travel it, uh, And Bandu can only take a certain amount yeah, of capacity. Yeah, it can't take, right. it can't take all the right. deaf kids. Right. And, uh, <coughs> and, uh, so really basically what we're saying is if the kids can't get into Banjo, exactly. and here there's only a certain amount of capacity. Yeah, capacity. There's just some kids who kind of just go to school and they don't have the support really to, 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 really, yeah. to really help. You know, I've got two boys and the two oldest boys, they're both autistic. Yeah. So they have learning difficulties, yeah, and yeah. they're five and four, they're not even speaking properly yet. Yeah. And you know, we have a lot of support over there in the UK. They actually have somebody assigned yeah. Yeah. throughout to yeah. help. And yeah. here they just don't even have the, yeah, have the, the infrastructure to do that. So we'll do our best. We, we came here and we'll do our best to support. So, um, good. So we'll go see somewhere else? Yes, yes. And we'll show the pictures. Is that the visual book? Is that no, this is not the visual book. Uh, okay, all right, okay. okay, this is just like a, a yearbook. So these are some of the donors that help you build the school? Yeah. Help build the school. Yes. As I was telling you, these are people who build the school, but right now they're phasing out. Yeah, so, 
So you can see this is a yearbook and these were some of the people who had the initiative, the care so and I said the heart to come into community like this and help them too. So my friends, um, let's do what we can to support. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, nice. Mr. Karamo Sanya. Karamo. <laughs> nice. And so where are the kids now? Oh, that's the kids actually. Yeah, these are the kids. But yeah. As I said, today is the observe holiday today. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday was Labor Day yeah. and today is... Uh... Yeah. And again, we have other reasons why they are not coming to school. Yes. yes. But he is attending college. He was attending college before. So this last week he finished his exam. So after they ask us to rest. To rest, the yes, rest kids. To have a rest. Nice, nice. You took it, you take good care of the kids, man. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. Like, yes. Well, um, <coughs> but that's nice. Yeah. Cool, so we go somewhere else? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see the classroom there. Yeah. I'm sure that the rush to the other school before. Yes. Get ready. <coughs> so, so this is the skill center. Yeah. You can see this classroom, small classroom. Um, but you can see some of the great stuff that they've created over here. So you teach this kids how to do all of this stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That goes with the color of my eyes, as you can see. Very nice. Oh, that's a flag. That's a flag. That's a flag. Netherlands, baby. Come here, Netherlands. Netherlands. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Right. Um, but now, as you can see, all the great stuff that they do over here, but just look at the classroom, you see, and... Um, yeah, yeah. For the whole world. Yeah. What can I say? Can you can you Everything is all cool. dusty. Yeah. So tell us some of the basic things that you guys need. Tell us some of the basic things that you need. I know we talked about computers, my, what are some of the basic things that you need help with that will help better support the kids? For example, in the office, we have a problem there, that is the computer is not working. Okay. So if you can support us, we will let you have a computer there and a printer. And here at the skill center here, we need materials like sewing materials. Before we plan to take the computer so that they can also be able to communicate with other people by like using the internet. And also our electricity, that is utility bills. Because before the people who were supporting us, they have the project has ended. For two months now, we have to pay our water bills. Because we don't have money to pay right now. Yeah. So, Even here now, right now, the gas power is almost to finish. And also, children need food. If at all also you can help us in the area of transportation for the children going and coming to school. And other learning materials for both the teachers and the children and the furniture. As you can see, they are all now. And also, if possible, you can have a method. You can, if you can support us to make them go the roof now. So maybe I guess during the rainy season it leaks. Yes, now it water, is. Water's coming through. Yeah. During the rainy season it is coming while the kids are in here. Yeah. So basically, what you're saying, you need there's a lot of um, a lot of basic needs. Mm -hmm. We're not talking luxury. We're talking basic, basic needs, needs yeah. for the kids to have a great education. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Sign language books where the children can learn sign language. Yeah. Yeah, we have some of them. Yeah. 
because here normally when we are teaching we depend more on sign language. Mm. Because before the Swedish people were supporting us in the making of the sign language but well, the project has ended. Mm. So here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna um, so I wanted to come here to see this project. So Mr. Suarez um, I'm going to bring my whole group here, so mm -hmm. we'll be back again in a couple of days. I don't mm -hmm. know when that is. Would that be on Monday? Tuesday. It'll be on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes, yeah. yeah, so Tuesday. I bring, I have some Swedish clients who are here too. There's about six of them from Sweden. Mm -hmm. And I've got another people from Dutch and England. Mm -hmm. We all come, we all come see, and good. it's one so I, so I bring everybody here. And Tuesday. I'm, sh I'm sure before we leave, we'll have a plan for you on what we can do and how we can help you. Yes. Is that good? Okay, so make sure you want to your future. Thank you, Mr. Gallagher. Thank you. My name is Pabure. Pabure Juf. Pabure Juf. God bless you. Say it again. Say it again. I'm Buddha. Fisherman. Fisherman. Thank you, Pabure. Thank you. 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 So yeah, that was the school of the deaf and the dumb here and um, it's incredible what I've just seen and obviously we didn't get to see the kids who are going to be back here on, student on Tuesday but the passion of that couple over there, um, yeah, just really touched me and yeah gonna make it our mission to support this part of the world so please whatever you can do to come help would be appreciated just even your time just to come and see it's, it makes all the difference all right see you soon see you on the other side bye for now um, so just um, visited the school of the deaf and the dumb and uh, just met very very passionate couple who run the school and talking about some of their needs and what they're doing for the community and uh, yeah it was very a big eye-opener and some of you will get to see the footage of course and see some of the basic needs of the school and we'll be back again on Tuesday because unfortunately the kids were not here they had a day off but it was just nice to speak to the people behind it and of course we're in the great company of Mr. Suare who's the director of this region for the schools and spearheads all the development over here. Um, so Mr. Suare, what's next? Where are we off to next? We are going to see the community school, the school yeah. that is really going on. We posted teachers there and we give them educational materials and uh, you know, we're giving them educational materials and uh, but the community is doing the school themselves. They are contributing, charging each other to make sure that you know, they use labor and they build the school. But it's not a permanent structure, a temporal structure. That's where I want you to go and see. Basically, some communities just don't have schools. That's the way it is. The government can't fund old schools or build old schools in every community. And so what the community do is they decide, look, let's get the bricks and mortar let's try and do it ourselves so some of these schools are half built some of these schools um, don't have basic needs or basic supplies and and really we're just going to go visit and see the community and speak to some of the people there and really see how we can help them and um, the help whether it's money whether it's time whether it's resources um, it doesn't really matter but just showing um, the care and um, the, the ability, the, the desire to give back, if I can put it that way. So, yeah, we're off there. So we'll see you soon. Bye for now. We just arrived at a school here, um, outside the Kama area. Here with Mr. Suare again, the director of this region. And Mr. Baji. Mr. Baji, you're the head teacher here? Mr. Baji is the head teacher here. And we're here just visiting the school to find out how we can support and help. And I just want you to see um, what great education these kids are getting and see how we can support them even more to have even a better education. So, over to you guys. Thank you very much, Mr. Juf. Welcome to Bakari Sambuya Law Basic School Community Initiative. In the basic school. As I told you, they, did, they needed a school. Uh, they wrote to my office. We gave them the approval to run a school. 
but we couldn't get the, the, the funds yet to build a school for them. But they said they are coming on their own, you know, they put in their labor, they put their skills and whatever, their small resources, and they built a four classroom block for the starts. So, so basically the community build this school themselves. Yeah, they they, the took, school, yeah. they, they took the initiative yeah, they took, and they right. just build the they school build the because schools. the yeah. nearest school is like many kilometers yeah, many away. Kilometers from here. And you needed you needed yeah, some sort of school. Yeah. Still now, you know, last week I came here, I found them trying to plaster inside, inside yeah. the rooms, these classrooms, they were trying to plaster. I said, How do you get this money? They said they charge each other. Every family has to pay a certain amount of money and they just go and buy cement and that's how they work about these okay. things. But when it comes to the construction, that's the label. They do the label themselves and they also do the, 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 the roofing themselves. I mean, there's no payment. It's a community. They do that. They come and do this wow. Wow. How noble, how noble. Yeah, so, nice. community building their own school, yeah. doing their own hard label to make this, make this work. So, yes. Let's go around, have a look at the school, and you tell us what we need, yes. and what you need here, and how we can support you. And as I said, we'll, we'll really do our best yes. and plan to support as much as we can. So, yes. Yes. Also, thank the director for bringing new people over here. Yes. Because he initiated this school. He brought me all along from Fony to start a school here. There was no place. We, sp um, we spoke to the community, and the Alkali, together with some villagers, they allocated this piece of land to the school. The community, as the director uh, rightly said, started the school voluntarily. We, we all come here, work, work where we had our small blocks from the north, and then we started the school. Thank God, um, the materials that you can you see around here, he in, um, invited me to the office, gave me the support to bring the materials. Previously, we were at the nursery school, yeah. the community nursery school. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's not even complete. No, it's, it's not, not, complete. It's it's not, not it's far not, from it's complete, not, but, from complete. but you're still yeah. educating yeah. the kids, yeah. doing yeah. what it takes, because yeah. we can't wait to educate can't our kids. Can can I say can if I had to wait for government yeah. to come, yeah. then it would take five years or four years. And these children wouldn't have yeah. access to education. No. These ones right now, here, yeah. going to school up to grade three or grade four, they would not have access to education. Well, I've been very just yeah. because they cannot walk to the next school. Right. Yeah. Oh, so, so, so we can see some of the classes. What age group are the kids then here? What's, what's the age group? Yeah. What grades? Is that grade the one to four. Grade, grade one, one to four. four. And the age group from grade one to four is seven, 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 seven eight, eight, nine, ten. ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, except there are certain classes where you have, like he rightly mentioned. Yeah. There are others they are late because they cannot work yeah. to other schools. So too, far. Fair, it's far. too far. So there are a few that are over age. Yeah. Those are, that, we have yeah. Those are the lucky people. ones. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids have to walk to school, yeah. walk back home to school. Yeah. They don't have the luxury car pickups yeah, no, like no, we no. have in the no, West no, no, over no, there. No, um, so, yeah, it's good to hear. It just helps give um, those people watching to a perspective of life on the other side, too, also. Yeah. Yeah. People just getting by with what they have rather than <laughs> blaming or doing just surviving, you know? And cool. Yeah. Let's see your office. Let's see, Let's see your office. Your office. And that, you know, that's the toilet. Sure. You imagine, that's the toilet. That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's the toilet. That's the toilet. Those yeah. things we're going to see. Let's go there. Let's, go there. Let's, go there. Let's see the office first. Look, 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 to the regional dialogue, yeah. so that they can at least help us with yeah. one standpipe. Yeah. Because there is no well as of now. Yeah. Water, another okay. basic need. Um, yeah. And that, that's the toilet for the boys and for the girls. Because what happens then is usually we, we construct toilets, put permanent uh, construction for the toilet. But unfortunately, we're starting with the classrooms also. And this is the way community are done yeah. the toilet. Now, this oh. thing. Okay. This is the, the local yeah. pits.
um, mind blowing of course. Um, this is the toilet for the kids, this is what the kids use. Um, and yeah, you can imagine. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. I, I, I can't say anything more. <laughs> can't say anything more. You, you, you can just see it for yourself. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> Is that where you burn the garbage? Yeah. Yeah, that's where they burn the garbage, yes. This but that's where they, 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 they used to get the no, mud. No, the mud. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can even see that the, the windows are not complete. Some of this <laughs> nice and open, so you can imagine during the rainy season yeah. what's yeah. happening with these kids. And yeah. That means obviously all the heads. He's also a senior teacher yeah. and he's the caretaker, voluntary caretaker. Voluntary, he's not yet paid. Yes, he's from the community. He took up the responsibility of the staff for the cleaning and taking care of the school. So, this is your office, That's the office stroke, of staff room, staff stroke, room. everything. everything. Yeah. Yes, and I don't see any computers here. Nothing. I don't see any <laughs> fancy office or big desk. Not much or, furniture, also. You know, a big sign saying head teacher. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, yeah, it's what it is. Um, but, and you can see even here. You know, this is not even a complete building, and for health and safety too, it's not even safe. You know, in some ways too. But you know, we education has to go on, support the kids really, and we're. The city kids. To you. Okay, so, so what time can you be? Good morning. Well, grade one. Sit down. Good. We have some visitors from the directorate. Who I think you recognize him, the director. So we have some visitors. He brought them here to see you and see the school <laughs> and see what we have here and what we need. So they are most welcome to grade one. She's the Quranic teacher. Islamic yes, Islamic teacher. Mr. These furnitures were given to us by Mandua. Sometimes that's what we do. We go to a government school and have excess. Excess. And you ask them to support. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And how many kids do you have in the classroom here? We have 35, 35 kids. kids. Due to the size of the yeah. 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 Very nice. Okay. Nice kids. Nice kids. Yes. <laughs> Hello everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> It's fine, we see the other green kids are smiling girls. Alright, bye bye, see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One thing you can also observe here, these are not the appropriate tables for students at this level. But because they don't have, and uh, this is what they are doing. They are using it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> so, well, thank you, thank you. Right, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Oh, black box slate, so the kids can write on. Yeah. I'm seeing you're using cardboards there to write and tie it all up and stuff. And what are you teaching right now? Right now, I'm doing writing skills. Writing skills, very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Good, good. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you very much. All right. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. And uh, this is great. 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 Thank you. Test the ability to see what standards they are. Yeah. And sit down. Uh -huh. Sit down. 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 It's nice seeing yeah. how also disciplined the kids are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the grade 4 and 2, 2 is coming. Or the second grade 2 and grade 4, they are coming in the afternoon. Okay. See you, bye-bye. See you. Okay, then you. I think something else that I've noticed was, was also missing is the um, you don't have sports facilities. No. Yeah, so the recreational part of it, yeah, the yeah, physical yeah. education. Yeah, the field over there. Yeah, the field over there. Yeah, field over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, all the things are also part of the physical part of things. Yeah. Um, so how do you feed the kids here though? What's the kids? They bring their own food? They bring their own food. Well, as I told you, this is the campus. They don't have the school for them. But what happens is some schools that are supported by donors, they, they also create a canteen for them. They give them, yeah, they give yeah. them food. Yeah. Some of the schools that are supported by donors, like the one I told you was handed over recently. Also, get a food for them. Okay. So, we encourage you know, enrollment and encourage attendance. attendance. And then also, make, makes the children more healthy. Yeah, so, is this the whole land for the school then? Yeah, we yeah. have all this. We have all this. We don't have time. Yeah. 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 So, these mangoes. So, the vision is, is to have a full, full, full blown yeah. school yeah. that yeah. provides yeah. all the facilities in yeah. yeah. school. Uh, actually, if that happens, our plan here is if we can have permanent buildings happen once we can, we can, we can renovate this one, we can convert this one to staff quarters, so that teachers will all be staying here, staying here. instead of staff, yeah. yeah. staying yeah. down. Yes, yes. And, and you can even attract more teachers, more teachers yeah, because they are just want to be yeah, here, yeah. Yeah. and that sort of stuff. Yeah. So no, no, it makes sense, absolutely makes sense. So, so thank you, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Pleasure. Uh, yeah. So I think again, we'll be back again. Another community that needs access to education in Jalambang, just around the camp, not far Which is a nursery school. It is a nursery school, schools. but we want to upgrade to a lower basic school. It's okay. Like facilities. Okay. Uh, okay. We're okay. starting there as a nursery school, but the children they are having a problem. The other school is in the camp, and it's about more than three kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So what I want in general is to upgrade it, and then it's a growing area. Yeah. So many people are transferring there because of the availability of land. You know, people follow where land is going, land is and, gone. Yes, and yeah. they, 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 yeah. they, they, they yeah. get yeah. settled there. Yeah. So in future, it's going to be one of the biggest schools if we have the structure. Yeah. 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 So, so right now, basically, it's just a nursery, nursery. and those kids after nursery, they, they have, have to, to go into to school, primary yeah. school. Yeah. Yeah. And right now, they, there's no primary school yeah, in the no area. In so the nearest school is what? Yeah. Kilometers and kilometers, kilometers away. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to go see that, see that one. and yeah. see also how we can support yeah. again. Yeah, that's right. That makes sense. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So Cheers. just shine your name. Mm. 
the visitor's book. Uh, yeah, thank you. So, Paul, what if you, uh, what if you lived here? Do you see yourself the same Paul if you went on this school? Um. Well, because you're from a big city, right? Well, big city, but still um, had access to schools like this and but I, I still consider myself fortunate that um, I had windows in my school I had a full building in the school and so one of the fortunate ones so um, I just count myself lucky but at the same time too I was lucky for a reason because I had to come back and give back that that's that's re that's really it so it's not really about me uh, but you've just seen for yourself what we just experienced here the biggest thing for me is looking at the toilet facilities the lack of water there's no electricity here, um, the desk that the kids are using, so yeah, it gives a perspective, it gives a, even me from this country here, and I've been away for a while and I come back often, I don't get that many opportunities to come back, but now it's a mission really um, to let's help the people who really need it, so see you soon, bye for now. Welcome to Jalambang Nursery School. Schools for Schools, sponsored by, you know, you know, it was a sponsored group, but they also face up. The man they help the family to have at least access to education. That's the great 033 three years to six years. Now, actually, the, the population is growing up. I mean, they need, the next step they need is a lower basic school, which they have reached into my office. That they, you know, they want so that when children graduate from nursing, it continues to lower. The facilities are not available. All you can see here is only two classrooms. So that's why they need government intervention so that they can have classrooms, so that they can have their own lower basic school, so that the children will continue education. Because we've seen from here to become, when they graduate at age three, yeah, I mean, it's difficult for them to walk from here to become or to go on at a grade yeah. one, two, six. Too far away. So too far away. Yeah. So that's why they are also asking you. No, they don't think that they're fine. But then, as I said, we cannot get to every community right now. So we also go out to, you know, yeah. mobilize and talk to you. Know, yeah. We can help. Yeah. We wish we can build schools for them, but we cannot build schools for all the people that want to be yeah. there. Yeah. Hello. And you're the chairman here? Or? Yeah, I'm the chairman. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, okay. okay. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and he's the head teacher. Head teacher? Um, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And uh, so would you build the school, if you the lower basic, would it be somewhere else or would it be here? You just want to expand it here or how would that, where would that, or oh, oh, do you oh, have some new land somewhere? Yeah, we just want to expand oh, it here yeah, because all these things are school premises. That's yeah. all school premises. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, okay, okay. And right now you have two classrooms here. Uh, yeah, two classrooms. And yeah. the age is between oh, three, and yes, yeah, yeah, three. three and six. Yes, yeah, three and six. Yeah, three classrooms. Yeah, three classrooms. Oh, three, three classrooms. Class. Yeah. So what happens um, after three and six with some of these kids then? What happens afterwards? Because they can't go all the way over. But they are going, they are struggling. They're struggling. They're walking all the way. You saw some yeah. of them coming. Yeah, yeah. they're coming. Wow, like they went five, six, seven yeah. kilometers yeah, 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 every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. You saw yes. them, that was I saw them. Those kids are all coming from here. Wow. Coming back. Wow, three-year-old, six-year-old, yeah. yeah. walking to yeah. five, six kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the only access they have. That's the only school they have. And wow. the next school is Sanya, which is also very far. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's the only school. That's why the community feel they need a school. Yeah. They wrote to me to feel they yeah. need a school. Yeah. 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 I told them, well, we would, we would consider it, but we're still looking for support. Support. Yeah. 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 It makes really, really makes sense. Yeah. Um, um, so it's more in case of building the infrastructure yeah, more to yeah, be able to yeah. handle the capacity yeah, yeah, and the need yeah, here yeah. With, with the well, kids. As far as we are concerned at the level yeah. of the ministry, we can always post teachers. Yes, we can post teachers and we can also supply them stationary, yes. stationary yes. learning materials. Yes, yes, yes. The infrastructure is the issue now because we have already prioritized. We prioritize the construction because there are other places that have been open for years ago. 
and then we're trying to see how best we can get there. There are other levels that we also want to upgrade. Like, you know, we also want to build classrooms for high schools. Right? Because children will live here, man, and access is a problem. Some of the parents, it's difficult for them to get guardians when you take the children from one community to another community. Mm. Well, that's why they always want us to build a high school within every district. Every district, yeah. every district so that children will not find it difficult to get there to continue their higher yeah. education from there. Yeah. No, no, so sense. that's the priority at the moment. We are conducting high schools. Um, so I have a group of people here, I know, and I was telling Mr. Suare. So, um, just part of, of here, we understand the need of the school, uh, which is something that we'll go back and take away with us. Uh, but it's something that we can do here to help you guys on Tuesday when yeah. you come with this group of people. Yeah. So okay. please let Mr. Suara know because we, we have a whole day where we want to go and see things, yeah. but mm -hmm. also do something because I want these people to really feel yeah. Yeah. what it likes to live in the community yeah. and yeah. Uh, the struggles that... <laughs> We face on a day to day. Okay. The so chairman, they have come with a group. Okay. So members of the group are at the hotel. Okay. These are the people that we have come around to spot See. out. Okay. okay. But their intention is to come out on Tuesday with the full group. All right. And the group will come. Okay. But now it depends on the community. Mm -hmm. It has to be out. Mm -hmm. And then it's not them hearing from Mr. Suarez yeah, or only yeah. Mr. Joe. Okay. I mean, they would love to hear from the community. That's good. Right? That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And, you know, traditionally, we know how to yeah, exactly. welcome yeah. people so, when so, people so. are coming to see you. So, so, right. so, so. And then you tell them your needs and yeah. what you need mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. those things. You are good. the better person to tell them. I mean, yeah. the community themselves. Yeah. 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 Right. So what yeah. we can do is just a spot out. Mm -hmm. Say, this is where, this is what we need. Okay. We have to go to the community. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. Um, well, we have the Tuesday the whole day, so we'll start from about 9 and we'll finish at yeah, 5. So yeah. I know we have some and other places we, to go. Yeah, they, they are going to get back to me. When they go, they will settle down. Okay. Yeah. Maybe they can give us time. Yeah. Yeah. And I will yes. communi I'll communicate that to all the communities we visited here. It's okay. so, not so going to be only Jama Yalama. Yeah, we are just okay. from Bakari Sambuya all right. and uh, from Janisa here. Okay. Okay. We will also see what time we will be here, right. what time this group will be here. So okay. we'll communicate to you. Okay. Okay. Right. And so we'll get the information before Monday. Yeah. So, okay. so that we can talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank this was in, this is a kid, three years to six year old. Yeah. It looks like um, nobody's teaching here because it looks very dusty, but this is the conditions. Yeah, because they are, they are on holidays. Yeah, they were just on holiday yesterday, it was yeah. Labor Day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, holidays and yeah, they didn't come to school. Yeah. Yes. No, if it is the, I think it's the holidays. It's the holidays. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Here it is, that's the classroom, three years to six year olds. Mm -hmm. um, not only do they have limited resources here, um, but they also have to work, walk a hell of a lot. Over five kilometers back and forth every single day. Uh, just imagine a three year old and a six year old, and not even with their parents. You see the kids on their own walking all the way to school. So, just says all of itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you see, as you spot out over there during the rains, yeah, the feeling, some feeling is Hello. So are there some of the kids in the school? Yeah, yeah. 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 These are some of the kids in the school there. Nursery kids. Nursery kids. Yes. Okay, we're riding on the bicycle. Hello. Hang in there. Very cool. Do you have their football? Do you have their football? Ah? 
So these are the kids that yeah. probably um, most uh, in the nursery here. You can see how, how young they are. And, and yeah, it's support the kids. Support the kids. Wow. Come on, come on, picture. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Hey, hey, One, two, hey, three. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 come on. Hey, 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 like that one. It's bigger, eh? Who's <laughs> 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 that boy? Come here, come, 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 here, come, 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 Okay. Come on, Come on, I'm big and both of them. I'm older than you. She's the oldest. So you're the big man. I can't say anything. I'm not today. What did you get in school? You came. So he just came from school. What class are you in? Grade five. Grade five. Grade five. Where's Where's your school? Yeah, which is that the one that we yeah, drove? That's, that's the one. This, no file. This, are, this, school, this community wow. has no file. So this, this is a typical yeah, example. Of, example. So yeah. he has to go. So you have to walk all the way. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's a long you walk, the right? Other little one down there. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And so grade five, how's your studying going? Yes. Yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up? I see your captain, right? Is that the captain handbag? Is it? Let the be a footballer. Football is. Football is. That boy. You are in grade. Grade three. See, that's grade three. Wow. Well, you cannot do grade three, yeah? Yeah. No. Alright, because you stay you have to stop at nursing. Yeah. So after completing nursing, you have to go to the other school. Yeah. And he walks from that place now, you see? How old are you? Five years old. Huh? No, you are more than five. Yeah. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years old. Nine years old. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. But you still look like five, so yeah, that's alright. Yeah. <laughs> I'm twelve. <laughs> Look at that, right? okay. All right, keep up the good work, huh? Yeah. All right, see you soon, man. High five. See, we have so many of them coming. All right. These kids coming from yeah. Jamisa. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. walk yeah. to Jamisa. Cool. Paul, when you see those kids, what do you think about your own kids? I, I see opportunities, man. And they just need a little bit of support. But these kids are raw talents who can make the world a bigger place and come back and give back to their communities. These are our future leaders. These are our future leaders. These are the ones who. So um, it's for us to up to become examples Can you to come, support come. them and, and do that. So, yeah, good. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. You know, that was me several years ago. Yeah. And, and so, and I know these kids are gonna do a lot better than I have because of you know coming back and giving back to them. So they won't make the mistakes that we've made, but just grow from, take off from where we left off from. Right? True. Uh huh. Yeah. So okay, that's another gun. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Look how young the kids and confident and vibrant they are. They don't really look at them, you know? It's so. Wait, 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 wait. Where are the twins? Where are the twins? Where are the twins? This one. And I don't see the other one. The other one. So we take pictures. It's a boy. Twin sister. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. Ah, they are twins. You don't see. Yeah. It's me. Look at also Adam and Howard. Look at this guy. Look at this. Everybody, one, two, three, smell. Look over there. Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. Very cool. Well, we're back again on Tuesday. Right. Get everybody out here, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No problem. Yeah. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah, there they are. Okay, that's fine. Living life. Yeah. The they don't know what they don't have or do have. They're yes. just being yes. yes. normal little kids. Yes. And yeah. Whatever we can do to support, my friends. Whatever we can do to support. So I'll do my part and hopefully invite you to do your part too, wherever, however you want to do it. So. Now, uh, before we build 
Uh... Yes. So we're here at the director's director's office. Um, But that's the office. Now I have a for the region. Yes. This is the office for the region. Start all your schools there. Yeah, all schools. Everything you see here, there are schools and their enrollments. Wow. No, these are all schools. Wow. All schools. Uh, the, the inside is the senior secondary schools. Yeah. And the upper basic schools. These sites are all the low basic schools. So just this tells you, if you are looking at a school, how many students, yeah, female, we, yeah, male, male yeah. total. Yeah. So you have an overview. Yeah, we, we, we kept on up, updating it as increase also. We try yeah. to change and then increase. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you also have this computerized somewhere? Yeah, yeah. of course. I want to show you. You have to have computers. You can have training or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, for example, where's one of the schools that we visited on here? Uh, let me take my lens. Ah, you can see nowhere that no one This is some battery somewhere. It must be in part of the. Is it? The school. Let's see. Not the low basic schools. It must be somewhere. Is it? Some of them are going up. Oh, okay. But oh, all the schools are here. All the schools. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Both yeah. mission, private, yeah. and government. Uh, you know, even the private schools are here. As I said, yeah. we don't actually uh, pay their teachers. We don't construct for them, but we monitor. We monitor. Uh, yeah, to make sure the standards, make sure the, the standard curriculum is being follow, followed. Follow up the curriculum. For the curriculum. Uh, the, uh, the government subvented schools are those are the mission schools. Those ones we give them grants. Mm. Mm. And then mm. they, they also have their own mm. you know, officers. Mm. Mm. But at the same time, we also monitor them. Yeah, and uh, with, with even with the teachers, um, because we have a very resourceful group to also, if yeah. you want to also some help in terms of skills, yeah. in terms of some of the leadership skills and yeah. those sort of stuff, the softer, yeah, actually, the softer personal skills. Yeah, we also, we, we also go in, we also invite you know, people yeah. when they come to give capacity building to yeah. you, particularly in your group, you yeah. have teachers there yeah. Yeah. who have been experienced in you know, yeah. school management or whatever. Yeah. We also organize that. We just have to inform the, the, the teachers, teachers to come. To come. And your crew will come and give them training. Yep. Yeah. We have a training hall which I can show you. Okay, very nice. Okay, thank you. Yeah. After you, sir. Yeah. yeah. So, anything else you wanted to share just, with us? Yeah, just, I just want to show you the training hall there. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Okay. Then to. Okay. Hello. Oh. Mr. Yu. Uh, Please pass the CJ. How are you? I'm good. good. How are you? Good. 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 Nice to meet you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Yes, nothing. Yes. 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 Well, they are grouped in the Holland, England, America. Oh, you know, they, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so one day, one of them consulted me to say they are interested in supporting the schools. Oh, okay, that's a great. So why can't I talk? So I went to the one that we talked to and uh, identify schools. Okay. So well, thanks for having us. Yes, right. please um, let us see, um, because this group of people want to come and see yeah. and really feel and know what it's like, um, yeah. what are some of the needs here, what it is to be a Gambian in a way too, yeah, okay. and to want to do stuff. So we'll definitely really need your help for him to experience. And mm -hmm. thanks for all the great work too. Keep on the great work. Thank and you. Yes, we just want to do our part too. So if you allow us to, yeah. to do. So thank you. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. That's yes. great. That's uh, great. Nice meeting you all. Thank you, brother. Welcome. Uh, uh, so we're at the office here, this is the main regional office for the whole education of this region, the re we call it it's the region 2, um, Mrs. Suarez of course is the head here and she's taking us around to show us the infrastructure that they have here to support all these schools, over 216 schools, um, it's a lot, a lot of schools and um, and as you know, most of the schools don't have the facilities that they need to support the kids. So um, we're just talking about how we can help and support. And some of the things that they need are just basic yeah, computers. Yeah, these are computers uh, we have here. Yeah. Uh, we have this uh, type in nine clusters. We have these centers, nine centers within the region, located in certain clusters. 
where we also recently we just trained some teachers to be responsible we can, so the teachers around that area can go there and access the computer and access the internet and they also run the skills. And this is for the teachers? This is for the teachers. For the they teachers. Yeah. Have training. Yeah. Right. We have this type in another nine clusters. Okay. Right. And what type of training do they get? When they, they train them on the use of the computer and they train them on the internet and internet. so on. So word processing skills, yeah, using some of the Microsoft and stuff, and so, so to be more efficient with their, their jobs yeah, and yeah. work and what we do. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> you can imagine, like, this is the own computers for all these teachers. So they, it's not like, you know, in Europe or in America or in the West where we have, everyone has their own laptop, yeah, not, not own, their personal yeah, laptop. Yes. No, you know. Here we have 216 schools. 216 schools. People need to share probably about 25 computers in 216 schools all over the place. So you can imagine um, the need and, and what would happen if these kids had access to that, or the schools had access to that, how we can better support the kids. So, for me, it's mind blowing. For me, it's really, really mind blowing, and it's always good to come back. It's good to, I always say, it's good to talk about contribution <coughs> or do contribution, but the key is being contribution. And yeah, lot to do, lot to do, lot, lot to, to do, do, and lot to make, make, make happen. So, we're going to make it happen now.